Imagine if the United States resumed on its current course, spending without regard for the country's future, not recognizing education as the nation's top priority, with bickering in Washington solely based on partisan lines. What happened to our nation's legacy of innovation, where nothing was impossible to solve? Think about a world where the youth lost hope and no longer cared about what lied ahead. What if it's our generation that gets our country back on track? What if we started in our own communities through a grassroots movement where young people were united to awaken the dormant American dream? We are youth that care about our country and want to take control of our future. We are youth willing to volunteer, participate in the political system, and be the change for our country. We are Youth for Truth, and welcome to Chapter 1 of the project. Hello, I'm Austin Marza, reporting for Shawnee Extra. Shawnee's most popular club, Youth for Truth, has brought politics to the students of Shawnee. Once you take a side before you even know about an issue, then you're going to have a problem deciding what you actually believe. You need to look at something without a bias before you can decide on how you feel. I think the same reason why people feel that the government needs to be an active participation of all the citizens is the same reason Thomas Jefferson believed it. If it's not everyone participating, it's not a structure of the entire population and only the people who choose to voice their own opinion. And that's not the equal representation of the entire population. If someone doesn't want to voice their opinion, then that's not good for everyone, not just themselves. A voice in government is important because, you know, it affects our future. If we don't voice our opinions, then uh, politicians aren't going to listen to us and what we have to say. And when we do voice our opinions, politicians are going to notice and they're going to change things for the better for younger Americans. My 28 years at Shawnee, uh, I know, I've noticed that the students really take an interest in whatever it is prevalent at the time that interests them. And right now is the time to get this thing going. I really think Youth for Truth has made a positive impact, uh, just taking a look at the election. Um, and the mock debate that we ran that was very successful and to hear they see so many kids getting actively involved in the political process which, which is the goal of that and so a more informed pu uh, public is going to make for a stronger society. Presidential debate, the mock presidential debate. I thought that was outstanding. I thought the people involved did a great job. Uh, I thought it was a real great educational experience. Well, it was very fun. Uh, Barack Obama and I are a little bit different I mean, he's a little more conservative than I am, but um, it was a very enlightening experience to try to live out a politician and speak like a politician. I was very impressed. I was very impressed by the students that were on the stage. The uh, Youth for Truth mock debate, well, in my mind, was a huge success. Um, they were able to present both sides of the issues all right, in a very fair and responsible manner, and the questions from the students uh, were, were handled very well. And as I said, the impact of it was seen because the kids were more active involved in the, edu in the political process. My role as club advisor is to maintain order and uh, try to uh, guide as best we can to make things happen. I got involved with Youth for Truth um, this year. I used to be a student here at Shawnee and I had Mr. Costello as a history teacher for two years and he would always you know, pitch the idea. And when I returned here to work this fall, he found a, a leader who wanted to take on the responsibility of starting this club, so he asked me to sign on as co-advisor, and it's been very successful thus far. When Youth for Truth started in Shawnee High School, we had a vision to uh, broadcast our image and our role throughout the entire country. Um, we're going to spread to each of the four sister schools in our district, and we plan to uh, make a big impact. Um, because there's a lot of people that really have a strong in interest in what we're doing and think that's a really good cause and there's so many people behind the scenes that are really working towards a better purpose. The purpose of the Youth for Truth Committee is to get the truth for the youth and we want to make sure that transparency happens because sometimes it's quite opaque. The y for t Committee is a group of about 15 kids, Chris being included, myself included, that uh, organize the essentials of Youth for Truth. 
we get the logistics planned, we get the organization planned, we plan for all the community service we give back. I think Youth for Truth is like, it's a community of kids where, you know, we get together and we, you know, discuss topics in politics today and try to um, build answers for the problems in our government. With Youth for Truth, we're always trying to find the truth. We want cold, hard facts. Now, of course, sometimes you'll have statistics that show you something that appears to be fact, but we always want to make sure that facts are good facts, not bad facts, like a junky statistic. We want to know everything that we can about something and not be lied to. We have 100 senators. If you ask all 100 senators with like one basic question about, I don't know, say, um, take the question, is President Obama a socialist? You'll get more than 10 different answers. That's a question that does have, there's one truth to that. There's only one truth to that question. But you'll get, you know, X amount of answers from, from our, our leaders who are supposed to, you know, represent us. So I think the Youth for Truth idea is really, really um, interesting because we can't even agree at the national level right now on facts. Youth for Truth meetings and the committee uh, meetings as well, they are about openly discussing views and for the committee itself, openly discussing views about how best to move the group forward. But the larger meetings, it's just about talking and saying what you believe and trying to figure out what the truth is. To get the word out, it starts with the community. It starts with the people and the kids in the school. And uh, everyone has to do their part to uh, support it. And I think the more kids that support it and put the time into it, the more people are going to get involved and the more people are going to see the, the good that these kids are doing and, and the potential this organization has. Young people should care about their government because it is their future. It is where they are destined to go, not necessarily as an occupation, but what, are the, what they will become involved in mentally, physically, socially, economically. They're going into this capitalist system that we have invented for ourselves and they're going to become essentially a gear in this giant system we call America. If they don't participate in that, it's like not oiling the gear in that system. And it's going to be essentially throwing sand in the works in the way that it's going to slow down the process because you have to inform them. And there are really, that's the most important thing you can have for a person as an American, being informed. Living in any country, you should know how your government works. Because if you're not informed, then you can't make an informed decision on how you feel about anything. You need to know how the system works so that you can help contribute to a better government and make your country and the world a better place. We have a right to the pursuit of happiness. We have a right, a God-given right, that everyone in America has, everyone in the world has, but we are concerned with America. Youth the Truth wants America to help itself, and in that, we can help the world afterwards. In and of itself, the Youth for Truth movement is, is, is a good movement in terms of trying to get students more politically active. And it's not pushing a, a particular um, ideological agenda. But the fact is that they want the students to become actively involved in the political process, and that's never going to be a bad thing. We're starting small by going to local schools and, and starting like reading clubs in these uh, elementary schools. In a generation where American reading is quite low and not a lot of children really want to propel themselves forward through the process of reading, we need to, we as an older generation who know the power of reading, want to give back to the youngers. One of the most critical issues that affects our generation and the nation as a whole is of course the economy because without the economy you basically don't have a nation. And also in addition to this, education affects us. With a stronger education, younger people have a better opportunity to help shape the economy. So through education, we can help improve our economy. I think by increasing our funding for education and investing in our students, we're at a university, at Grammar State University, and that's one of the things that we want. Invest in our youth. Keep pushing our youth. Invest more in education. Reduce the uh, student loan rate. In fact, we should look for actually more money from the uh, private sector to fund education for the students. Education, education, education. Nothing works without education. You can have all these freedoms, all these liberties. If there is no solid education system, then things turn out really bad in the end. To be well informed, you need to be a, a very strong reader. And I think reading, obviously, is the fundamental piece of that. And so in order for that to be successful, um, you know, the earlier you start, the more um, successful you're going to be. 
I feel like giving back to your community and community service is the same way investing money into something works. You put something in and you get even more out. Recently Obama stated that for every five dollars we invest into our future, we get seven dollars out of that. That's, that's a decent return, but I feel like with community service that's priceless in that return. You are giving to kids whose future is worth more than any measurable amount of money. If you get a student exposed to volunteering, you know, there's first of all that initial benefit to the community of the actual project of itself, but hopefully in the long run the student will see the goodness in volunteering and that will kind of spur or light a fire within them so that they'll continue to move and become a volunteer as they move forward in life. If we as Americans don't believe in our future, then we won't put the effort in and then we won't participate in it later. If we want our voice to matter now, then it's going to matter later. I think one of the roles of schools is to create an educated society, and that's critical to, to having a successful, well-run democracy. And with all these decisions that are being made today that are going to impact students, they need to be well informed about it and how the whole system works. So in order for them to have a voice, they have to have the knowledge to be able to formulate opinions that are, that are um, informative. Youth for Truth is one of the first political movements for U.S. young adults. Check out their website at youthfortruthrally.com.